Yo, what is going on guys? Breezy here today with a brand new video. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be talking about The Sims for Kids. What are kids exactly? Well, for whatever reason, if you have no idea what kids are, they're basically bite-sized packs that are based around one theme. So for example, the three packs that were released yesterday is the Throwback Fit Kit, which is basically like 90s themed outfits. Then it was the country kitchen kit, which is basically one kitchen net that's like country theme, like the old timey feeling and houses. And then it was the bust the dust kit, which adds new gameplay features. And it basically allows you to use all the vacuums that you already have in game, like the one from cats and dogs and things like that. And your house actually builds up with dust. So basically just new gameplay. I am going to be honest with you guys. Before watching yesterday's live stream, I had zero like hope for these packs. I just thought that they were gonna be just quite horrible, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I thought they were just gonna be just terrible. Like, I had zero hopes, no high hopes at all, like. But I do have to say that they impressed me a little bit with the stuff. I'm, uh, I'm gonna start off with the first one, which I don't think is worth the money at all. $5, by the way, for these packs, if you guys do not already know. Before we get into my rankings of the packs and what my real thoughts are on each pack, I have a comment of the day for you guys. Do you guys think the kits are worth it? And do you think that they're going to be on sale? And with the sale price, do you think that then those kits will be worth the 50% off? So now let's just get into the fit kit. I don't think that this is worth it at all. I'm sorry. I think the clothes are really beautiful. I think they look good. I would love to buy it and have my Sims rock it. But for $5, I don't think so. And you only get 23 items. That's a that's a good amount of CC, or I almost just said CC. That's a good amount of cast items, 23. It's not really 23 items. Basically, if we go onto um, the origin page for it, you basically see the the hat is on there three times and the shoes are on there two times and even that dress for the young women and um children that's on there twice like it just seems like a lot of this content is just reused for each of the life stages i don't really like how that looks at all so with that being said i personally do not think this pack is worth five dollars if it went on sale for 50 percent off I think it would be worth it then. Now let's talk about the country kitchen kit. So if you go to the country kitchen stuff like on Origin and you like take a look at what items are brought to you, it's only I think 15 items or 14. And you're probably thinking to yourself, that is definitely not worth the money. But you have to understand each countertop has end pieces. So take one countertop, that's probably like eight pieces. So actually this kit, I genuinely believe it is worth the $5. And it brings a whole bunch of more kitchen clutter stuff as well as new flooring and new wallpaper, which I think kind of looks cool. But where you're really making your money at or getting the bang for your buck, I should say, is the actual pieces to the kitchen. The sink, the different countertops, the different um, up counters, I forgot what they're called. But even the island all have different swatches to them, the different pieces. So I think that is genuinely worth the money. Now let's talk about the bust the dust kit. You only get five items and it's just vacuuming. And you're pretty much only, you're pretty much only getting a cleaning kit, all right? So this one is the one I was most looking forward to. I'm not gonna lie because I'm a type of person who plays family gameplay. I would love it to have my kids set chores and be like, hey, if you, um. Uh, vacuum the house you can get some money if you do this chore you can get money I'm that type of person so this pack was actually the one that I was most looking forward to I was super excited for it and to say like I still am excited I actually still love this pack I'm not gonna lie is it worth five dollars though I want to say genuinely I think yes this pack is worth five dollars they made it to where maids now clean well, they, I mean, they clean before, but, you know, vacuuming and doing all that dusting. Bone Hilda can also do it. Then the, um, the Roomba from Cats and Dogs can actually vacuum as well. So they went through and they updated a whole bunch of items to fit with this pack. And that's kind of why I like it because they actually went through and actually made something for it and adjusted things and actually like made something for the pack, you know? And not to mention, it also comes with two aspirations. 
So if you guys are the type of person who loves to complete your aspirations, this pack does come with two aspirations. So you should have fun having like a dirty sim and a clean sim, like going head to head. It would be funny. And But my real question is like, what about with roommates, right? Because we can do roommates now. If I have a roommate and they're a dirty slob, are they going to be messing up my house? Honey, because the answer is no, you getting out. You no, bye bye. But now the community guys, what do you guys think? I feel like a lot of the community is having mixed feelings on this pack, like very, very mixed feelings. And I cannot blame them because I'm one of those people like, I want to purchase this, but at the same time, $15 for like a couple things, I don't know. Like I can't really wrap my head around it. You know, it's not that much money. In the long run, it's going to be a lot of money because I'm the type of person, I don't really personally like to play with CC or mods. Because for people who are getting new into the game and they come to my channel, I want them to see the game, the game that they can buy. They might not have, they might be on console, they might have a like a really bad computer and if they download CC, they could risk getting a virus and then breaking their whole computer. You know what I mean? So personally, I don't like to play with CC and mods just because like I just don't like that slight possibility of getting a virus. And I'm not saying everybody's gonna have a virus. Not everybody's out trying to get you. Okay, everybody calm down. Not every creator is trying to send you a virus. So when I see new content for The Sims, I get really excited. I, there's only two packs that I don't have. The Star Wars pack and the Paranormal Stuff pack. I'm waiting for the Paranormal Stuff pack to go on sale before I purchase it just because I'm not really, use, I'm not gonna use the gameplay right now because as you guys know, The Sims 4 Game of Life. We're doing that series, so. We haven't really had Adrian experience any of that yet. So that'll be later down the road. But those are my thoughts on each of the kits. And honestly, what about the future of kits? Now, they can do a lot with these kits, right? Now, I know the number one question for kits is, can we get new worlds? That would be sick. Okay, new worlds would be sick. Okay, I would probably purchase that for $5 for a new world. I'm always living in Brindleton Bay. I'm always going to Oasis Springs. Like, I need something new. You know what I mean? Like, I just need something new. So, of course, I would love it if kids came with worlds, if they could possibly do it. But since we're on the discussion of worlds, do you think if it came with worlds, would it be like a new crest? Just empty? Or do you think they would have just a base game house? Because obviously... They couldn't add any like uh, build buy objects or anything because you're buying you're buying the world basically you're not buying anything else. So I don't know. That's a my question for you guys. What you guys think? Leave it down below. I think kids could be an awesome thing. Okay, wait. I was just about to end off the video, but I just thought of something. A old person pack. I'm just thinking they had nifty knitting. But I mean, what if we got canes and walkers and old folks' homes in like a little kit? Obviously not an old folks' home, but what if we got something like a whole bunch of old people stuff? Like the great grandparents pack or a great grandparents kit. I think that should be a stuff pack actually. So we can get canes and walkers and then cast items. And oh my God, that would be so cool. Will I be buying the kits at the end of the day? Uh, yes, but not right now. I'm going to wait to see if they go on sale. And if they go on sale for 50% uh, off, I almost said 50 cents. If they went on sale for 50 cents, honey, I'm buying all of it. <laughs> if once they go on sale, I'll be purchasing it and then doing some new gameplay then, I guess. Or whatever happens with our Adrian character. Anyways, if you guys are interested in more Sims gameplay, guess what? Every Wednesday, I'm uploading Sims content. Every Wednesday, you can find Sims 4 content on this channel. So hit that subscribe button and follow the homie Adrian and his game of life at university. But yes, guys, I went in today's video here. That is my thoughts on the Sims 4 kits. I like them. I don't like them. They're good. They, they really did raise my expectations. Like, I'm actually more happy for them than I was before. Guys, this has been Breezy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, everybody.